Okay, this is a response to T.S. Golden's video on uh, the healthcare debate or healthcare and capitalism or some stupid title that you gave it. Um, your video is essentially an argument, if I understand this correctly, that, that um, socialized medicine will actually help capitalism. Um, and I have written down some of, the, some of the things you state in your video, and I'm just going to go through very quickly and explain to you uh, why this is incorrect and, and this is really a logical fallacy, okay? Um, I won't go into the bitching that you do at the beginning of the video about Rush Limbaugh or Sarah Palin or whatever the fuck you were talking about. It took you like two minutes to get into your argument, and I don't want to do that. So anyway, your, your main argument, if I understand this correctly, is that um, when workers are, are sick or unhealthy, they're not at work, and they're not making money for the company, and the, the company is less productive as a whole, and they'll make less profit. So your argument apparently is, or your first one, is apparently uh, if the government provided health care for everyone, then, then people wouldn't get as sick as often, and they would go and they would make more money for the company. Okay, well, let me explain to you uh, very quickly why this is wrong, okay? Obviously, you've never read any uh, Frederick Bastiat who wrote a, a uh, book about what he called uh, economic sophisms or economic fallacies, and one of the first that he wrote about was this concept of the broken window theory, which I think you're arguing very well right here. I'm not going to go into what the theory is because I did it in another video. If you want to know what it is, find my video on my channel about it. But um, you're arguing essentially the broken window theory. Here, here, here's the problem with this. Um, in theory, if, if there was free health care, you know, in other words, no taxes or any money had to go to provide it, um, in theory you would be correct that, yes, free health care that's magically free and no one has to pay for it uh, would actually help businesses um, because their workers then would be more productive. But here's the problem with what you're arguing. Uh, the government-run health care for, say, a single-payer system or a public option or whatever the fuck you personally advocate would have to be paid for with taxes. So who's going to be taxed for this um, magical health care um, system that you want? Well, it's going to be, it could be individuals, it could be those evil rich people, it could be uh, those evil corporations, probably a combination of all three. I doubt, I think that every individual would end up getting affected by the tax anyway. But but this is essentially where, where you're not seeing the unseen consequence of what you advocate, okay? Because Though the workers may be more productive because now they can go and get health care, and let's say perhaps they don't miss as much, um, as many days now because they're they're healthier, uh, the problem that you're running into is the corporation is going to lose money because now it's paying for their health care, this massive, um, this massive uh, health care monstrosity that's going to be paid for, say, with a corporate gains tax or an income tax on every worker or something. And what's probably going to happen is, is they're not going to make any more net money because this government monstrosity is going to end up costing more. And what the company, and then these workers that you seemingly care about are going to be in a shittier state because what's going to happen? Well, the company, logic dictates that the company is going to do something to try to make that money back. Typically, they're going to fire workers and just fire the least productive people anyway. Um, so now those people don't have jobs, or they can do other things. They can just cut wages, not give out bonuses, um, you know, I don't know, not send the, not not allow paid vacations or something like that. But I'd say the, the corporation is going to try to make their money back. Okay, so this is the, the main reason why your argument is, is bad, because uh, the, the health care isn't going to be free because someone's going to be taxed for it. That's going to come from the workers. That's going to come from the company. And what's going to happen is that the company's going to make less money. This is the same argument that I've heard, for instance, that uh, we should have like a $20 minimum wage or something because if people don't make a lot of money, they can't buy products. I mean, this is essentially the same argument you're making. You fail to understand that if a corporation has to pay a $20 minimum wage an hour, it's just going to fire a shitload of workers so it doesn't actually in, um, incur any losses. And then you have people who are out of work and they're not buying anything. So this is what uh, Bastiat called the uh, seen consequences of economics, which is you saying that the workers are more productive because of health care, and the unseen, which means the corporation is going to be losing money, and then the corporation is going to fire someone, or the corporation is not going to be netting any, um, and the corporation is not going to be making any more money, so that there's not going to be any more wealth uh, created. It's going to be losing wealth, actually. Um, and also, you made so you made um, this other weird argument that people who are sick don't buy uh, American-made made goods. And that it would be better that if uh, when they're in there's something like they're in the hospital and they would uh, they can't buy goods when they're in the hospital. So this this would be helpful. Um, you know, are, are you advocating protectionism then? Because you didn't say, you know, goods in general. And I, I hope you understand the uh, the problem with just buying American made goods. When we just when we don't buy goods from other countries, they don't buy goods from us. This is a, what tariffs do and protectionism does. And we actually uh, have less wealth than. From this argument, and then at the end of uh, your video, I just want to state very quickly: you go on and start bitching that Democrats aren't arguing these ideas. Well, they're not arguing them because they're probably not that stupid. Because you know, I've just pointed out the fallacy in these 
arguments, but also you, you say that the Democrats are apparently, oh, if I, you know, I don't write my notes in my hand, I have a piece of paper, um, you know, you and the other 50 million people who are doing that joke, I guess I just don't fit in with you. But anyway, um, you state that the Democrats are no better than the Republicans and they're in the uh, the corporate till just as much as the Republicans are. Uh, what, how long did it take you to realize that one? I got news for you. No matter what uh, no matter what letter is next to your name, if you're a politician, you're stealing from someone. Every politician gets handouts from corporations. Every politician essentially exists to rob um, <laughs> rob their, their constituents of as much as they can in the form of taxation. Okay, the only person that I think legitimately doesn't do that is named Ron Paul, and even he is a great minority um, in the in the United States government. So again, if you haven't figured out that every politician, no matter what party they, they belong to, um, just wants to stay in office and just wants to rob as much as they can from their constituents, then, you know, where the fuck have you been for all your life, okay? I'm fucking 21 years old, and I realized that a long time ago. Uh, every politician accepts money from corporations. Every politician just wants to keep the status quo so they can keep their seat as long as possible, even if they don't do shit to help the country. So, again, um, you know, that's that's pretty much a fucking given. But anyway... Uh, this is just my response to your video. Um, your idea is incorrect. It's a logical fallacy, and you do well to, you know, stop arguing it because it's not true. There you go.